Peanut Butter Keith's Mind Beauty. <laughs> Hi, I'm JC. Welcome to the Forbidden Cities, a Keeper of the Lost Cities podcast. A podcast where Cindy and I talk about Keeper of the Lost Cities books, theories, characters, ships, and more. Hello. Hello. Um, I'm JC. I'm Sydney. And welcome to the Forbidden Cities podcast. Today's episode is a Google Translate game. Um, Sydney, would you like to explain the rules of the game and sure. how it works? Okay. Okay. So, JC came up with this game, and I'm very, very excited to do it. Um, what we're going to be doing is, well, actually what we did do is we asked for quotes from our listeners and picked a few out ourselves, mm-hmm. and we're go- we put them through Google Translate. Like 10 times, 10 mm-hmm. different languages. 10 different languages. Well, some. Actually, mine are a few of mine are only a few languages just because they were hilarious after one translate. <laughs> See, what I did is I just translated like straight from, like I did Spanish and then Spanish to Finnish and then Finnish to Chinese. I didn't even translate it back to English to see what it was until it was done. <laughs> and they are, they are beautiful. I didn't even recognize some of them. I did it very strategically. I was like, <laughs> okay, this is funny. Next. Um, Anyway, but the twist on it is we're going to have each other guess what the quote is. And who said it? Are we yeah, and who said it. And Ooh. so, how are we going to do that? One point each? One point, yeah. If, one point if you can guess the person. One point if you can guess the quote. I feel like if you can guess the quote, you can guess the person. Usually, yeah. Yeah. But we'll, we'll go with it. Because sometimes mm-hmm. you can guess the person, but, like, not the rest of the yeah, quote. Because uh-huh. you can tell who would say something like that. That's what, that's what happened with my sister. Mm. Um, and should there be, like, a timer? Like, you have a certain amount of time to guess? No. It's okay. Funnier. It's funny if we can laugh about it some. All right. <clears throat> um, I don't know why my... <clears throat> okay, we're good. Um, so, Sydney, would you like to read the first translated? Gladly. <laughs> Actually, I have a bonus one. Do you want me to do the bonus one first? Sure. Okay, this is just a character's name, mm-hmm. and I translated it with... Okay, I'll tell you what I translated afterward. <laughs> and I just want you to guess what character's name these three are, okay? Okay. Is it Rocket, Burp, and Rabbit? They're all <laughs> They're all one character. Wait, that's all one name? Yep. D- in different languages. <laughs> Is it Keith? Yep. I, feel like <laughs> <laughs> I tried to translate love Keith and you know love uh-huh. It was like amour, all of those. But then mm-hmm. each one, it's like love rocket, <laughs> love burp. L- oh yeah, love the barrel, <laughs> love the barrel, <laughs> love rabbit. Anyway, that made me laugh. Did you did you pick that one or did someone send it in? No, I just picked that one. But yeah, that's that awesome. wasn't. That's mm-hmm. that's just a bonus because I wouldn't translate love funny. Just translated Keith. Mm-hmm. And every time I was cracking up. Love okay. Rocket. You should go first now because I okay. said <laughs> since you've since you've Rocket. started us off. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this first one is sent in by a listener. I think it's your name's pronounced Farah, and um, so here is the the translated quote. The answer may be false. If you want to be trusted, read the Shadow Steam article. Oh, it's Tam. <laughs> Do you know what he oh, said? Oh, okay. Um, it's. I was just looking at this quote for our parentage ep- episode. It's, um, read it again. Read it again. The answer may be false. If you want to be trusted, read the Shadow Steam article. Okay. I can get close. It's article. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea where that came from. Answers can be lies. Mm-hmm. If you want to be trusted, if you want me to trust you, let me read your Shadow Paper. Yeah. Yes. So yes. do you know what, this isn't for a point, but do you know what book it's in? I'm have never seen. guessing you do. Yeah. Yes. All right, your turn. Wait, isn't that a, oh no, okay. It's not. We can make it a point, a bonus point. Yeah, okay, let's, let's try it. All right, Sydney now has three points. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Sometimes things get worse, and they get worse. Sometimes things have to get worse before they get better. Uh, no, we're too good at this already. <laughs> no, that's Keith and Lodestar, right before he blows up Foxfire. I, don't, I actually don't know what um, book. I didn't write down what book. I think it's Lodestar. From. It probably is. I'm because gonna trust you. It's before. Yeah. You oh, and I for, forgot to mention that was sent in by at Faroa F A R O H A 2007 
24. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're so good at reading. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I've read Lodestar almost as many times as I've read Everblaze, so I'm pretty sure it's the And I've read Never Seen Plenty. So that's, <laughs> that's how uh -huh. she knew the Tam. I threw in a rally quote in here somewhere, just to throw you off, because it's, it's not a famous quote, but I knew mm -hmm. you'd... Oh, I'll know it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, next one. We did not comply with our order. This is sent in by the same uh, person. What is this, Star Wars? <laughs> We did not comply with our order. Huh? <laughs> Do you need me to tell you, like, who says it or something? Yeah. <laughs> Keith. What? I have no idea what book. <laughs> I don't know. We did not comply with our order. <laughs> it's translated really weird from the original thing. It sounds like it's... I, I, it's something about them being rebellious. Maybe? Yeah. Okay. Kind of. Hmm. We did not comply with our order. <laughs> what order? We don't listen to you? I don't have to listen to you? No. Did, hmm. Is it... Am I getting warmer? Um, you're going in the wrong direction. No, really? I mean... Yeah. He's not talking to someone. What? <laughs> he is, but he's not talking to the person he didn't listen to. I have no idea. <laughs> Do you want me to tell you the quote? Yeah. Okay, it's because our families don't decide who we are. We what? decide who we are. <laughs> that translated to, we did not comply. I was like, is he defying Forkel's orders? I was back and never seen in my head where he's like, I don't want to read these books. That makes sense, yeah. I would have guessed that. I, I translated that, and that's the one I looked up, and I said, Cindy's not going to get yeah, this. Yeah, no. <laughs> we, do, we do not comply with that <laughs> That does not sound like Keith. No. No. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. I'm really excited about this one. All right. This was sent in by at Coker Holiday, at Apples and Daisies, and at Sam Cali 2020. There's a bunch of little periods and stuff in there, but... I'm not going to read those. You're just going to have to search them for yourselves. <laughs> um, ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, Rudisa is retro. Who? <laughs> 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 o, comma, R-U-D-I-S-A is retro, and retro is capitalized. <laughs> Trying to think of a quote that would involve <laughs> Rudisa. <laughs> and that a bunch of people would send in. What it wait, is Rudisa something I should know about? No. Okay, good. It I sounds like, like it sounds like Redek. Redek? It's Morella's last name, right? Oh, I say Reddick. Reddick. I don't know how I don't know. Why did I say that? It's yeah. probably right. I don't know. I mean you did say long. <laughs> I did say what? London. <laughs> Hush. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's involved in the quote. It's I funny. feel like it'd be funnier if I wrote these down, too. Like, wrote which ones down? If I wrote them down and made you read them. Oh, that's true. Um, Who do you think said it? Biana? Nope. <laughs> How many guesses do I get? I, is it just I don't one? think you'll guess it. Okay, I give up. What is it? You you want another quote? Well, tell me tell me who said it. Keith. <laughs> <laughs> what is it's it? It's really famous. Three people sent it in. Oh, Radisa is retro. Yeah, I'm giving you lots of hints, so I'm not sure if this is still gonna count, but. Mm -hmm. Um. I feel like I'm going to have to edit out so much just dead air on the podcast. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to be so disappointed in myself. Okay, what you is are. it? D just think of famous Keith quotes. Though, to be honest, it does not match at all. The only thing that matches is how short and long it is. Short and long? Mm -hmm. Oh, like... Because like how... Uh, sorry, the length of it. That's the only thing that matches. Um, I don't know. Okay, it's back the T-Rex up. <laughs> Actually, it's whoa back the T Rex back the up. So it's up. oh, Rudisa is retro. Rudisa is retro. <laughs> okay. I was like, what on earth is this? 
Okay. Yeah, I would never have guessed that. Mm-hmm. So how many... We both got three points on the first one. Both of us got mm-hmm. zero on the second one. Yep. All right, so both at three points. Yep. All right, so next one. This is from <coughs> Michael. Michael emailed me. Um, take care of my shoes. <laughs> take care of my moonlark. Yes. Do you know who said it? Forkel and Lodestar. Yes. He's talking to Orly, which is why I was so proud of Michael. I was like... <laughs> Um, your turn. Okay. This one, you might get this one. Okay. This one actually has two options from the same language it ended up translated in. Okay. It gave me two different gendered ones. Okay. So we have, (laughs) maybe if I leave her and she can, she'll be broken. Or, maybe if I leave him and he can, he'll be broken. (laughs) It literally Um, gave me two. I can tell you what language it is. Hold on. Yeah. I don't know. Think, think about it. We, who talks about... This isn't super famous. I mm-hmm. knew it right away. I can tell you what book it's from. Okay, that okay, would help. It's, it's Lodestar. Lodestar. Broken. Um, Maybe if I leave her and she can, she'll be broken. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it totally switched up the... Um, okay, who says it? And then I'll okay. be able to probably guess the okay, quote. It's Sophie. Okay. Oh, well, it's it's like a narrative. It's not okay. someone saying it. It's her thought. Okay. Maybe if I... <laughs> um, the first word is the same as the quote. Maybe. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh, I, I, I started to get it. Hold on. I feel like we should be able to look it up. That would be cheating. <laughs> Who do you think she's saying it about? Um... I have no idea. <laughs> because I don't know if they're talking what they're talking about like in that context. So she could be talking about a broken mind, but I can't remember her worrying about except Keith dying at the beginning. And then Oh, maybe maybe if she never let go, she could hold all the broken pieces together. Good job. That's Keith. Yay. All right. So I have one point from that one. Uh-huh. Even though I gave you a bunch of hints. hints for this one. <laughs> I'll give you hints. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I, that one was just so funny to me because it, like, the genders, maybe. maybe if I leave her and she can, she'll be broken. <laughs> it took maybe if she never let go, she could hold. What? Where did? I don't even know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, and that one was sent in by at Magical Doggies. Oh, Magical yeah. Doggies. I've heard that yeah. you are a fan. Magical underscore doggies. Yeah. Um, okay. Number four. This one was picked up by me. Um, so no one wants to love again. Empathy always wins. So no one wants to love again. Oh, okay. Um, what? <laughs> the last part gives it away. Only for me. Empathy always wins. Empathy always wins. Okay, it's either... Okay, it's it's either key <laughs> for a rally. Imp- all I can think you of is can't see me, but I'm silent laughing. All the feels. Is, that's not it. Is, is that it? your final answer? No, no. Okay. Um, tell me if you want me to tell you who says it. Okay, hold on. Let me I'm just gonna sit this. here and try not to laugh. Say it again. So no one wants to love again. It's no one wants to semicolon love again. <laughs> Empathy always wins. No one wants to love again. No one wants to love again. Empathy always wins. Yeah, who says it? Kenrick. Kenrick! <laughs> that should give it away. I'm gonna knock the table over. Oh, isn't it like, doesn't he say empaths are always right or something like that? Something like that, yeah. Okay. Oh, I, I don't read those books enough. Oh, it's Everblaze. I figured. So no one wants to love again. That's really <laughs> depressing for these characters. It's especially accurate coming from Kenrick in Everblaze. Yeah. Um. Okay, what did I say a minute ago? I said impus are always right, or it's... No, okay. Uh, is that part right? No. No? <laughs> okay, give it to me. What is it? Um, That's why I'm everyone's favorite. Well, second favorite. Empaths always win. <laughs> That's like the last thing that he says to the council before he dies. <sighs> so I'm mad. That's why I picked it out because it's like the last Kenrick quote of the series. I mean, besides the memory and unlocked. All right, okay. your turn. So this one was sent in by at Kinsey underscore 
the underscore so keith underscore shipper the so keith shipper oh i tapped the microphone oh no you're gonna have to edit that out <laughs> okay this is the one okay so we have repair for me in parentheses messenger in parentheses is the only service repair for me messenger is the only service um repair for me messenger is the only isn't service. it weird that i put messenger in there yeah what book is this in do you know mm, i don't know i know the quote hold on let me think repair for me messenger is the only service um by the way if you guys are listening and guessing tell us if you can get them right like how many of them that you got right that we didn't yeah um repair for me messenger is the only service (laughs) it sounds like it's talking about facebook (laughs) (laughs) repair messenger for me it's the only (laughs) service i use it does like some like angry person calling the helpline (laughs) I don't know why I get so quiet whenever I'm, like, talking beside a microphone. Mm-hmm. I probably should talk louder. And I louder. get louder, <laughs> as you can see. What was I going to say? Um, Messenger. Do you want to know who it is? Yeah, tell me okay. who says it. It's Keith. Huh. Repair for me, Messenger, is the only service. And the sentence structure is similar. Okay, I'm going to give you a hint. Take out the parentheses. So it says, repair for me in parentheses, messenger, is the only service. If you put a comma, it, there's actually supposed to be a comma before mm-hmm. messenger and after messenger. So it would be repair for me, messenger, is the only service. All I can think of is Shannon messenger, <laughs> but I know that's not in the book. I'll, I'll give you a hint. <laughs> I'll give you a big hint. Okay. It's another She's last just telling name. me the whole thing. Messenger translated from someone's last name. Right? <laughs> Isn't it weird? Foster? Yeah. Well, obviously, because he says Foster all the time. Okay, but listen, Foster translated I only get messenger. half a point if I guess this. Google because... translated, Google translate translated Foster to Messenger. Weird. Conspiracy. Yep. The elves are upon us. <laughs> I only get half a point if I guess this, because you've literally told me, like, half of it. Repair for me. Help me, Foster. You're my only hope. Is that right? Very close. You're missing. Fix me, Foster. Yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's in Everblaze. Yeah, I was thinking it was Exile Everblaze. It's either Exile or Everblaze. Yeah, it's, it's whenever it's he's chasing when her. He's happy. Yeah. And free. And yeah. And a little baby boy. Uh huh. Doesn't know about his parents yet. <laughs> baby Keith Foster. Yeah. Aww. It's it's like whenever he's chasing her up and down the stairs in Havenfield, and like mm-hmm. Grady glares at them, and Adeline smiles at them, and Sandra's like. <sighs> <laughs> So I get half a point, so Jace is at four and a half points, and Cindy's still at three points. Okay, but you have to give me big hints, too. Okay, okay. I will give her big hints, but I only give her half a point. <laughs> well, I gave you a whole, a whole point for one of them. Which one? The last one I guessed, right? Uh, You guessed that one, and then the one before it, what did I say? I don't know. I just gave you a lot of points. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you I'll give four. you a full point. You got to four, and mm-hmm. then... And then four and a half. Yeah. Okay. So I'll give you a full point, even if I give you, like, half of the quote for the next few. No. Give me a full... I don't think I gave you... Well, I'll tell you whether... We'll work on it. Um, We'll we'll play it by ear. All right. The next one. (laughs) Um, So one of the words didn't want to translate... Oh, I forgot. No, I did tell who sent it. Go ahead. Sorry. You're good. One of the words didn't want to translate back to English, so um, we're going (laughs) to... What? (laughs) You'll see. <clears throat> Quote number five, and the rest of these I picked out myself. Well, the best part, Holoana, forever. <laughs> what? I don't know how. Holoana. Holoana, yes. Spell it. H O A L A U N A. H O A. L L A U N A. It's Hawaiian, isn't it? Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the last language I used. Say it again. Well, the best part, Holoana forever (laughs) that's great is it forever forever well the best part forever (laughs) do you want me to tell you how wrong of a track you're on not yet (laughs) 
It's not like um, Team Foster Keith is going to win or anything along those tracks, no. is it? Okay. Because I know Keith's like, Team Foster Keith forever. Okay. Um, elves live forever. Something about that? No. Okay. Um, oh, I'm so excited for the next one. I'm going to tell you. Sorry. Um, who says it? Sophie. Sophie? She's talking to Orly. Is it, it's gotta be something about Kenrick dying? Not, no, not directly. You want me to tell you who she's talking about? Is it about Fenton being locked somewhere forever? No. Who's she talking about? Alina. Well, the <laughs> best part, Alina forever? No. <laughs> How would that be the best? In any way. Do you want me to tell you what book it's in? Yes. Lodestar. It's when she goes to Orly's house. Oh, it's got to be something about her being stuck beside Alina. Yes. I don't know. Okay, what is it? No, you can guess it. You're so close. Just take a guess. I don't know how to guess from that. Okay. Okay, so it's about... Sophie talking to Orly about Alina. Mm-hmm. Something about her being stuck beside and him. And think about Kenrick having died. Yeah. And Fitz is there, but that doesn't make a difference. But I don't know how to make this fit the <laughs> sentence structure at all. Like, Sophie to her alley. Oh, let me add in. Well, comma, the best part, period. Holoana, period. Forever, period. Okay. Well, the best part... <laughs> Do you want me to tell you what word Holoana is in English? Yeah. Okay, it doesn't translate from Hawaiian to English, but the original word was neighbor. See, something went wrong here because <laughs> being ne- neighbors with Alina is not the best part. Nope. So I'm over here trying to think what would be the best part. <laughs> like, okay, that Sophie gets away from Alina from Foxfire. Okay, um, well, well, now I'm, st- I'm stuck with her or something like that. Oh, no, it's Sophie talking. Mm-hmm. It's only four words, and you know the third word. <laughs> I, I don't know. What is it? It's, ugh, worst neighbor ever. Sophie talking to Orly about Alina. <laughs> How did that get translated to best? Um, well, the best part, Halloween went out forever. <laughs> the best part is, she's the worst neighbor ever. Oh, well, Una. Huh? Something went very wrong there. It did. It went through, okay, these are the languages I used, and I used the same ones for each. I translated it Spanish, Finnish, traditional Chinese, Latin, German, Russian, Hebrew, Portuguese, Hungarian, <laughs> Hawaiian, then back to English. <laughs> wow. Okay. So they're I'm, they're beautiful. Go are ahead. Are you ready for this? Yes. Okay. This is a title. Okay. It's all capital like all the first letters are capitalized. Okay. The original quote may or may not be, but it came out as a title. Okay. okay. We have Peanut Butter Keith's Mind Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> I was cracking up. Is this a quote? Like, did someone say it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Peanut butter keeps my beauty. <laughs> I um, have an alternative one, but it, it'll give it away. It's just really funny. Um, <laughs> so you have to work with this one, and I'll tell you what the alternative is. Okay. Peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to make so much sense when you hear it, too. Oh, no. So much more sense. Wait, you have, like, another translation, though? Yes, but that one's... You would it's guess it right easy. away. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, well, maybe. What book is it? Do you know? Um, hold on. Oh, it's... I think it's Exile. Okay. Is he there? It's one of the earlier ones. It's when Keith is happy still. It's when Keith is happy. <laughs> Peanut butter Keith's mind beauty. Um, I'm trying to think of... Did someone send it in, or is it one you picked? I picked it. Okay. So it doesn't have to be famous. <laughs> well, okay. It's it's not 
famous, but if I say the first three words, you'll know exactly what it is. Okay. And you know it's about Keef because it says peanut mm-hmm. butter Keef's my baby. <laughs> I'm just going to make something to put on Instagram, like an art of that. Peanut butter Keef's mind beauty. Sounds like a product. It's it like, does. This peanut butter is Keef's mind beauty. Buy it. <laughs> does it have something to do with Keef's mind and like the actual quote? No. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, I feel like it has something to do with the time whenever Sylvani was sending Sophie like dreams. Is that right? No. <laughs> it sounds like something Sylvani would have sent it her does, as a dream. But it has nothing is sophie saying it no is keep saying it mm-hmm. okay <laughs> um so i get at least one point right since i guessed yeah though the thing is we do keep going like but yeah you, you get one point i'll do half a point so i have five because i'm ocd maybe from now on if you um you have to guess their name first try yeah okay we'll do that so i'm still at four and a half you sure? Yeah, that's more fair. Okay. Because we're going to do that, and that's what we've been doing. Mm-hmm. Um, peanut butter keeps mind beauty. <laughs> it's, okay, if you think about the words separate, like, try to fit them into an, a sentence, you might get it. Like, they're they're not in that order. Okay. No, you won't. You won't. Okay. What is it? <laughs> the quote? Uh-huh. Okay, fine. Okay, I'll tell you the alternative quote, and if you can get this okay. one, you get half a point because i i think it's easy okay i might give you a whole point do i know how fast you get it okay the alternative one is see we get to know keith's middle name from google translate it's your beauty and courage keith peanut simpson (laughs) (laughs) when he translated i was like this is what he's hiding (laughs) this is what's redacted no wonder. <laughs> and he even capitalized peanut. Wow. It's like Keith Peanut Simpson. <laughs> wow. Um, Your beauty and courage, Keith Peanut Simpson. And it's Keith saying it. You can get this. Your beauty and courage. <laughs> oh, is it whenever he's writing the poem to himself? Is that a yes or no? <laughs> Keep going. Ode to Keith Simpson, that brave, lovable nut. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Do I get half a point? Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. No, I have five points. And Cindy still has three. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I did tell you Yeah, because you didn't what get... What book? I was going to say, can you get another point by the oh, book, no. but I told you the book. Yeah. Yep. Keith... So, Ode to Keith Simpson, that brave, lovable nut, went to Peanut Butter Keith's Mind Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Peanut Butter. <laughs> It's like we didn't just pick which nut it was. We decided to cream it. <laughs> Can you imagine if we did that in every sentence? Like, yes. we went from strawberries and bananas to just saying smoothie. Yeah. Humans to just saying, never mind. Okay. Uh, what? <laughs> I mean, if, if you just took, like, an abstract word, like fruit, but then we said oh, smoothie yeah. instead. Okay, I was like, creaming humans? <laughs> <laughs> Instead of saying humans, we're not going there. Um, so my next quote, you should be able to guess it. A swan is called a swan and sleeps. Serenity is hidden. A swan is called a swan and sleeps. Serenity is hidden. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay. Hmm. You're picking all ones from the earlier books, aren't you? I have, like, one from each book, and then a couple of the books have doubles. Nice. Okay. I think. Okay, so my first, is it Forkle? Wait. (laughs) No, it's not, but you're close. Okay. hmm. Say it again. A swan is called a swan and sleeps. Serenity is hidden. It's someone, it's like Prentice Jolie. Is it from, hmm, it's got to be from one of the earlier. I think you've guessed every person on the Black Swan except the person that it is. Ugh. Tear again, maybe? Yeah. Oh, it is? Okay. A swan is called a swan and sleeps. 
where where did the sleep come from? It sounds so familiar. You're going to be like, oh, yeah, I know no. I'm going to. Yeah, do not tell me. I feel like you can get this. Okay, the swan is called the swan is sleep. Serenity is hidden. Can you tell me what book it's from? Exile. I, I knew it. That's it what was. I was going to say. I should have guessed first. It's my only exile quote. Okay. Ah, uh, see? I think the only book that I have two quotes from is Lois It's Star. not the Sing Swan, Spring yeah. Swan, Then Let's Fly, that thing. It, it is. It is? Yes! Do you know the actual words to that part of it? Uh, is it the ending part? It's the beginning part. Ooh. I'm still going to give it to you either way. Okay. Uh, I thought, for some reason, I thought Sing Swan... That's the end, then... What's... Wait, maybe it is the beginning, so maybe this is the end. Okay. <laughs> And then it's, like, tucked in a nest. Yeah, that's it's the last. Like, it's something about that. Hold on. Mm-hmm. A, a swan is called a swan and sleeps. Yeah. That's the the line you're missing that Google translated. A swan is called a swan and sleeps. See, it has something to do with being, like, tucked in a nest, doesn't it? The last part, serenity is hidden, is tucked in the branches of your quiet nest. Yeah, okay. Sing swan, sing swan. Sing swan, string swan, swan, then, then let's, let's fly. fly. Follow the pretty bird across the sky. Oh, that's it? No, that's the part before this. Okay. Then it starts, a swan is called a swan. See, th- I wish this was more relevant. I read this quote all the time <laughs> on Pinterest, too. Follow the pretty bird across the sky. Oh, it's like, a something, swan's... something, then let's rest. A swan is called, called a swan. Call. Oh, oh, call. Okay. Um, <laughs> isn't it something then let's rest, though? Is that right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Sing swan, sing swan, spring swan, then let's fly. Follow the pretty bird across the sky. Something, something, then let's rest. Touch, tucked in the branches of your quiet nest. Call swan, fall swan? Yes. <laughs> really? Yes. Okay, cool. Nice. I did not. She got I, it. If you can't tell, I barely, I hate Exile. I don't hate it. No, I only okay. like it. I only read it all the time mm-hmm. because of Kenrick still being alive in it. Yeah, I don't hate it as much as Flashback. Mm-hmm. I actually, I, Exile's Flashback. good. It's just for a long time, I didn't have that book. Mm-hmm. Then I finally got it a few years ago, and I think I've reread it once. So of all the wow. books in the series, I never read Exile, wow. which is, the one time I reread it was to try to figure out that her, I just had to read the entire book out loud for my brother because yeah. so my brother just started reading the series. Oh, I'm allowed to say my siblings' names, and they all oh. want to be on it. Like okay. even even the little ones. Oh no! Um, but Aiden, he just started reading the series. He's 12, um, and he listened to an audiobook of book one, and then I didn't. The audiobook of book two was super expensive, so he had me read book two out loud to him until, like, page 400. Then he got impatient, read the rest of the book in a day. He, like, never reads. And he just read Everblaze in, like, a week. He came in my room after Kendrick died, is he threw the book at me. He is, yeah. How far is he? The bookmark's in there somewhere. It's the unlabeled one. He's not very far, oh, I don't okay. think. But he's read the part with Orly. Mm. Um... But yeah, he came in whenever he got to the part where Kinnick died and never blazed. Now, he's known that Kinnick died, like, since I read it, like, five <laughs> years ago. He came in, threw the book at me, and said, I knew it was going to happen, but it wasn't ready. And Aww. then picked up the book and, like, walked out crying. Aww. And I was like, <laughs> feel my pain. Because um, he's made fun of me for, like, five years. And then he has to go through Kala and Never oh, Seen. No. Spoiler alert. Yeah. And then he has to go through Forkle and Lodestar. And he likes Alvar. So oh. he was like, oh, Alvar's my favorite character. And I was like, <gasps> and so then oh. he takes Unlocked and reads the whole first half of it. Like with Alvar's character uh-huh. description, he goes, Alvar's in the Never Seen? And I was like, I told you not to read Man. that book. So Man, was, I really wanted him to find out and never in never In the book, right. <sighs> but he found out in Unlocked, even though I told him repeatedly not to read it. But now yeah. now he's at least not touching Unlocked anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so he won't find out about Forkel, the end of Never Seen. No one really dies in between that. There's nothing I don't think hugely so. sad between um, Lodestar and... Brant dies during Lodestar. It's not well, sad. Well, yeah, but not between Lodestar and... I'd always, I was always just like... Um, because Orly's just like, oh, yeah, he died. Great matter everywhere. I know. And I was like... <laughs> Orly! I just read that last night. I was like, gracious. <laughs> How's your mind, honey? <laughs> Should we get Sophie to check on you? <sighs> um, so we got way off track. Okay. So do I have the next quote? Uh, no, I do. Okay. Oh, yes. I'm still winning. This is from at Crystal Nevea on Instagram. 
Shouldest thou be as a sojourner, a little in the peril of our lives, everything that we can use thee. <laughs> who says it? You want to know who says it? Let me just guess one, and if okay. it's random, I'll get the point. But if not, it'll help me. Mr. Forkel? No. <laughs> okay, who is it? Guess. I don't know. Fitz. Is it Fitz? Mm-hmm. Okay. Read the quote again. Shouldest thou be as a sojourner, a little in the peril of our lives, everything that we can use thee. Is it in flashback? I highly doubt it. Okay. Um. I don't know, but I doubt it. Yeah, I really don't. I don't. I'd say. I don't pay much attention to anything if it says. Oh. (laughs) But. Is this a famous quote? I don't want to tell you because then you'll guess Ugh. it based off of just it being a famous quote. But yeah, it's a famous quote. <laughs> but yeah, uh, please, please think about the words because <laughs> he doesn't have that many famous quotes. No. That's the problem. All I can think of is whenever he's like, like the only Fitz quote that I know of is like, we could all use a little more weird in our lives. That's it. But that doesn't count. Wait, is that, that the quote? Yeah. Should have stopped yes. What? <laughs> This is the one I only translated into, like, two languages. Let me look. One of them's Latin. And it came out like that, and I was like, <laughs> nothing can make this further. Sydney translated from... it back into Old English. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let me find it. What That's language? That's how they called you weird. Should have stopped me as a sojourner. <laughs> how does that fit at all? I have no idea. Okay, it. Yeah, I just, I translated it into Japanese, and then I translated it back into Latin. Then I translated it back for, to English and then to Greek, and it went, you should be like a resident, a little at the risk of our lives, whatever we can use. And then I translated it to English and then Chinese. Time. So this is like uh-huh. the bare minimum. This is, do you hear something? Okay. No. This is um, si- num- like s- only six languages, and it went, no matter what we can use, you should risk your life a little bit like a resident. <laughs> And that comes from... And all I can think of is, like, nursing home residents. Oh, my goodness. Yep, and then I translate it back into Latin. So this is only seven languages, and it goes, They use no matter what is possible, not even a little bit the life of you do not risk having to themselves that were implanted. For (laughs) we could all use a little more weird in our lives. That's amazing. Yep. But the first one, shouldest thou be as a surgeon... (laughs) A little in the peril of our lives. <laughs> wow. I don't know if that should count because you didn't guess it based off the quote at all. But it'll no. count. It'll count. You get one. Point. It was book two, I think. Yeah, you were like flashback? <laughs> well, that's whenever Fitz does the most talking. The rest of them, he just like, you've it, done enough. That's all he says. Was, yeah, okay. It, it, it might be exile. Or that's all he says during exile until the very end is, you've done enough, and then slams the door. <laughs> Except he says it in his So wait, what's accent. the point tally? I um, have like four. Yeah, you have four and I have five. I won't take any points for that because I just guessed a random quote. Uh-huh. It was like not even based off of that. Okay. All right. Okay. My quote number seven. <clears throat> I know you can survive. That's I know, period. You can survive, period. The first one was so easy. Mm-hmm. And now... Okay. Well, it's because... I know you could survive. It's because the first one was from Never Seen, and it's also my only... I can say this. It's my only Never Seen quote. Okay. And that's that Keith one. Our families don't get to decide who we are. I think maybe that's Never Seen. Mm, that sounds too positive for him. Then. Mm. It would have been Sophie saying it if it were a Never Seen. Um, uh, I think true. that's like... Nightfall. Oh. Or Legacy. Okay. No, it's not. It's not Legacy. It's definitely not. It's not Legacy. Because I read that one. I don't know. Yeah, it might be Low Star being defiant. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Say your quote again. I know. You can survive. I know. You can survive. (laughs) Is it Keith? No. Ah! Are are these even famous? Yeah. My friend sent it to me as soon as she got to it. I know you can survive. I know. It's two separate sentences. Even in the original thing, I know, period. You can survive, period. Okay. So they're, um, but it's the same person saying both of them. Yeah. 
I know you can survive. <laughs> is it Forkle? No. You can do it? Is that one of them? No. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some more hints. Do you want me to tell you who says it since yeah. you won't get the point? It's Orly. It's the only Orly quote I have. Okay. I, I was thinking Orly, but I was like, no, she wouldn't do that, but she did. <laughs> it's She's also... It's... Is it sad? It's, yeah. It sounds... Hmm. And it's not... Oh, is it... What is that? Is it from Unlocked or Legacy? Yes, it's from Unlocked. It's from Unlocked. Okay, it's the one where she's like, I know you don't need me. It's not, like the gist of that, but I don't know the actual quote. Hold on. That's not it. Is it not? No, it's a different one. Mm. Okay. It is from oh, Unlocked. Oh, it's like, though. I know you're bra- you're strong like that or something like no. that? No. <laughs> Do you... She well, says it to Sophie, doesn't hint? she? Yes. I, but okay. it's not about Sophie. So it says, I know, and then you can survive... But okay, if it, it was like, translated correctly, it would be, you know, I know I can survive. Like, if it was translated in the right person. Okay. I know I can survive. What? Do you want me to tell you? I can kind of guess the mood of, like, how they would say it. <laughs> and I knew what book it was from. <laughs> so you get one point. We're tied now. Okay, just tell me. I know, and I have to live with that. Ah! It's after Sophie. She's like, I I promise I didn't mean to hurt you, Sophie. And Sophie's like, well, you have. (laughs) I know, and I have to live with that. She's really, like, that's whenever Sophie... I feel so... (laughs) That's the moment whenever Sophie's, like, actually sad for a second, and then she's like, no, I don't feel bad for Orly. What am I, sympathetic? See, okay, I knew knew it was from that conversation, and Mm -hmm. I knew it was something that she was like, I know, and I can survive you saying that or something like that mm-hmm. but i couldn't figure out the right phrasing okay so close okay, you, you got right. the book so five to five so i have to guess this next one okay i think you i i don't know okay the fountain is worthless everything we do we pay the same same fees as cepheus <laughs> <laughs> is cepheus supposed to be like cassius i don't know <laughs> i don't know um something about the fountain is the book nightfall remember i didn't write down these so Mm -hmm. we'll record that let me check i don't i don't think so but i don't know where it is in nightfall i don't want to look because then i think you'll know as soon as i pick up a book hold on let me think no, it's not Nightfall. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's definitely not Nightfall, actually. Is is Sophie talking? Nope. Oh, man. Um, can you tell Do me you who, who the quote is? A rally. Oh. <laughs> Read the quote again. The fountain is worthless. Everything we do. We pay the same fees as Cepheus. <laughs> oh, is it, um... Is it whenever she's visiting her in Lodestar and she said she's she's talking about Keith? Don't let him underestimate Fenton. Uh, oh, what mistake was that? Kinrig underestimated Fenton. We all did. Don't let Keith pay the same price we paid. You had one word wrong. It's he, but she's talking about Kinrig. So you're right. You're totally right. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So I get one point for the quote. Yeah. Uh huh. I'm glad you didn't get it without me saying though. Yes. Because I was trying to throw you off by doing it orally. <laughs> But the thing is, um, I was thinking of Nightfall because of the, the Unity Fountain that comes mm. into play in that one. Oh, my Amazon package was delivered. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I was, that's what was confusing me. But, okay. yay. I like that scene. I had a quote from it earlier. The fountain. The fountain. Oh, is Fenton is the fountain. Yeah, and then Cepheus was Keith. Cepheus? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's his middle name. <laughs> Keith Cepheus Simpson. I've wondered, this is so random, I've wondered if his middle name is, like, Cassius. Oh, uh-huh. So that's why he's like, nope, we're not going there. Yeah. Because Sophie would possible. be like... Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, next one. This is quote number eight for me. Dimitar, I cannot make you a king who looks good. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dimitar, I cannot be a king who looks good. 
See, these aren't famous, are they? No. Not what? this one. JC. It makes never complete sense. Okay. But this is the only one that's like, what? When did he say that? It's a he. I'll give you that since okay. it's so random. Now I've got to figure out if it's... <laughs> Do you want me to give you another hint? I won't take away points from Can I ask a these. question? That yes. Won't... Okay. Um, is Demitar in the scene? No. He's not. Okay, so they're just talking about him right now. Yes. I'll answer yes or no questions like Orly did in Lodestar after they questioned <laughs> uh, Gethin. Okay, if he's not in the scene, because I was like, okay, it's either Everblaze, Never Seen, or Nightfall. But if he's not in the scene, it still could be one of those, though. Cause it's ask me if it is. No, I'm not going <laughs> to ask you because I want to I mm-hmm. wanna get a point for that. Mm-hmm. So I got to think about this. Demitar, I cannot make you a king who's pretty. A king okay. who looks good. A king who looks good. <laughs> so he's not in the scene, because my immediate thought is like, Keith, when he's fighting Demitar, being like, Keith, like, <laughs> roasting him or something. No. Demitar is not in the scene. Okay. Are they talking? Mm. I'm currently removing my nail polish with the screw. Oh, I need to do that, too. With the screw? <laughs> with the screw. Okay. It's got to be Keith or Ro. Don't tell me. Keith or Ro. Which one do I think? Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> Is it not one of them? No. What? <laughs> How did, you already did one from Exile. It's not from Exile. And it's not Keith, so it can't be Keith making jokes about Demitar's diaper. <laughs> I cannot make you a king who looks good. Okay. So, if we think about it as if it's not talking to Demitar, then they could be saying either, like, Demitar does not look good. (laughs) Or or is not a king. Oh! Who looks good? Could it be, like, he has a bad reputation? No. I'm trying to reason this out in everything I say. Okay, what is it? What is it? Oh, your your computer's at eight percent. Oh, I have a cord in here. Good. Um, it's, it's fine for now. The quote is, "I can make King Dimitar look cuddly. It's Grady in Nightfall." Wow. <laughs> I never would have guessed that. No. no. Um, it's my turn. And here I am giving you a rally quote, <laughs> and you're like, "I had one Keith quote, okay?" And I think I think you didn't even guess it, did you? Yeah, we did not comply with our order. <laughs> They're not famous, though. Okay, go ahead. Um, well, that one was Sintan, and so it was famous. So, oh, it's your, it's your turn to read one to me. Oh, wait, that one is famous. You're right. Sorry. Um, oh, it's my turn? Okay. See, one of these is funnier, but it's really obvious. So, this is not a quote from someone. Mm-hmm. Thing. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Keith ran in front of the noise, which could be de- used as offensive to him. Um, is it an unlocked? Nope. Oh, no. So, I'm thinking completely on the wrong track here. Keith ran in front of the noise, which can be used as offensive to him. Um. I'll read you the beginning of the alternative quote. That's too easy. Okay. But I'm not going to read the end, because it'll give it away. Okay. Okay. Kefefe <laughs> was dragged down and removed from his face. <laughs> Making it possible for a noise that was better described as. Uh huh. So we're talking about Sophie's voice. Yeah? No, making it. Kefefe, or Keith, was dragged down and removed from his face, making it possible for a noise that was better described as. Or. Keith ran in oh. front of the noise. Oh, Keith, be- Keith ran a hand down his face, making a noise that was best described as frustrated ferret. Yes. Wait, read the first thing, the first quote again, like the whole thing. Okay. Kefefe was dragged down and removed from his face, <laughs> making it possible for a noise that was better described as a frustrated man. A frustrated man. <laughs> what man. was, what did the original one say? Did it say something about? 
Uh, Keith dragged a hand down his face, making a noise that would probably be best described. Oh, no, like the first, sorry, the first translated oh. thing. Keith ran in front of the noise, which could be used as offensive to him. Offensive to <laughs> <laughs> So you get, what, 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 what book is that? Well, I already guessed Unlocked, so did, did we say you had to do oh, First you're right. Try? Yeah, we did. First Try for books, but the actual book must be Legacy, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's either, I thought it was Nightfall. It's Legacy, because it's when he's trying to find out Sophie's yeah, parents, and that, so he's like, when, mm-hmm. why would it be a problem me working with you? <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> the frustrated parent. We quote that all the time. <laughs> like, just yesterday, or was it earlier it was you quoted yesterday, it? Yesterday, I, I said, mm-hmm. I was a sad ferret. And I was like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Because I had already translated these. Um, so next one. So wait, how many points do you have? You have... I guess I get one. Seven. Well, I guess Keith, but no one says it. It's the narration. Yeah. And I said Keith immediately. Mm-hmm. It's in the, like, original thing. Mm-hmm. So I'll get one for that. So you have seven points. And six. I have Are you sure? I thought you had six before. I was tied with you before. What is that? Oh, well. Okay, continuing. Okay. Um, oh. <laughs> Tis my family. Um, so the next one. Sophia is unique. Sophia is special. <laughs> no. What? It's longer. Okay. Sophia is special. Is that part of it? Yes. But there's another word. Sophia is very special. A different word than Very. Sophie is extremely special. <laughs> a different word than extremely that still has E-X to start it off. Sophie is extraordinarily special. <laughs> Sophie is extraordinary. No. And it does have special. Sophie is extra special. No. <laughs> you also need to remember who said it. And there's more words yeah. before Sophie. Mm, okay. Hmm. It's already brewed. Oh. Okay. So okay, there are so many people who could say this. It's is it if you heard the one quote? Yes. One point for Sydney. I feel like ten points to Gryffindor. Okay, so I got to think about this. I feel like I just read this. I want to say it's. You probably passed it whenever you were looking for that Tyrion quote for me. It's not Tyrion, though, is it? It's not Tyrion. I think it's before. That. I think it's. I think it's Alden. Yes. Yes. Two points. <laughs> okay. Cause is he talking to the council? That's what I read yes. last night. Mm-hmm. I was looking for something else, though. I think he's talking to Brunt. Yeah. <sighs> Sophie. I mean, I already got two points, so. Sorry, I must knock the table over. You do have seven points, right? I really think you have seven. We should have been I mean, writing I'll this take down. It. <laughs> so then we then we'd be tied right now. Sure, I'll take seven points. Okay. Because I, I I think you. Have well, seven. it was like we weren't gonna give me the quote or the the one that you gave me the hint for the quote. Okay, maybe after this we can go back and tally it up and then yeah. say it at the end. We'll tell you who actually wins. Mm-hmm. Um. Sophie is... Okay, what other X words are there? Extremely, extraordinary, extra... Exemplary... <laughs> Do you mean to tell you the word? I... I um, oh, okay, Sophie... Read it again. It's just Sophie is unique, right? Sophia is unique. Sophia is unique. Sophie is... If you tell me the word, I can't get the point. Nope. I'll still give you the point. No. Because no. you still need, like, four words before it. Yeah. Okay, fine. Tell me the the one word, and then I'll try to think of the other words. Exceptionally. Exceptionally! Sophie is exceptionally special. That's a weird, exceptionally special. That's almost as bad as is exemplary. <laughs> That's not a word, is it? Um, I'm laughing at my last quote. That I'm gonna read you. Sorry. That won't be a problem. Sophie is extremely special. No. Ah. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, what's not a problem? <laughs> <laughs> now the next quote's gonna be a problem. <laughs> I 
it's, I don't know. What is it? It's more likely that Sophie is exceptionally special. Oh, I wouldn't have gotten that. It's because Bront is like, um, oh, looks like the golden boy isn't as special as everyone thinks he is because mm. Sophie could get past his blocking. Mm-hmm. And he's like, well, actually, Sophie's probably just very special. Mm-hmm. Um, it's my turn to guess. Your turn to read. Okay. <laughs> it's another Latin. Oh, no. <laughs> I think this is the one I literally only translated to Latin and was already laughing. (laughs) Okay. The gem in the land to seek, I find not so much as the lightning. What? (laughs) The gem in the what? The gem in the land to seek, I find not so much of the lightning. Gem in the land to seek, I find not so much of the lightning. Um... Okay, I'm just going to guess the books so that you can tell me which one it's in. And if I happen to guess right, then I happen to guess right. So, is it in Legacy? Nope. Okay, what book is it? Unlocked. <laughs> she looks so confused. <laughs> so, this is a spoiler, but it's not actually, it's not an important quote, but it's in Unlocked. Okay. Not important. Got it. <laughs> um... Okay, and I'm just going to guess a character, and then if it's not them, I get to know the character. Is it... Is it Ro? No. If you know the character, you're going to know it immediately. Is it Orly? No. Is it Sophie? No. Is it Keith? No. Is it Ellen? No. Okay, ready? <laughs> well, it's then. Fiona. Oh! <laughs> she's not... She's not the sparkliest jewel in the tiara, if you know what I mean. Very close. I think it's brightest jewel. Brightest. But it might, it might be sparkliest, you're right. I don't know. So I get yeah. one point for it still? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you do. Mm-hmm. All right. So you're at, I'm at seven, you're at eight, we think. Still one ahead. Yeah. We'll go back and make mm-hmm. sure. The gym in the land. We might seat, be tied. I find not so much of the lightning. <laughs> not so much of the lightning. <laughs> Next time I'm around someone. I want to do a whole scene like this. <laughs> <laughs> Just Google translated. And act it out. Okay. That would be really fun. Um, your turn. All right. Um... Light three times, because if there is no care, because there's fear, hold your breath. What? (laughs) I get. Do it again. You're probably going to know it. Okay. Um, light three times, because if there is no care, because there's fear, hold your breath. Oh, your computer turned off. Oh, it's dead. I'll plug it in. It says you can do touch ID. No, it's. Oh, yeah, it's at 6%. Okay. We're good. Good. Say it again. Light three times. Light. Because if there is no care. Because there is fear. Because there is fear. Hold your breath. Hold your breath. <laughs> if I told you who said it, you would get it. Probably. See, but you've said that before, and I've gotten it wrong. So. <laughs> you should use my method. What method? Oh, of asking, and then... Yeah, and then if it's wrong. Hmm. So hold your breath makes me think it's from... Okay, so wait. You did one from each quote, except there are a few doubles from each book, sorry. Yeah. I'll tell you if this is a double or not. I don't think it is. No, I think this is the only quote from this book. Okay, so at first, hold your breath made me think, oh, it's going into... Wait a second. Is it legacy? Yes. Yes, okay. Um Oh wait, no, it's it's legacy not unlocked. It's okay. legacy, yeah. Because at first I was like, is there some sort of thing they have to do to get into the um storehouse? No. Okay. Legacy. Or dramatically closes in the background. Yep. Um, is it Forkel? No. It's not. Who Didn't we it? to tell you? Lord Cassius. Lord Cassius? <laughs> Do, does he say don't hold your breath? No. Yeah. It's, um... Do you want me to... I'll still give you the point if you can get the quote. But do you want me to tell you, like, more context? Sure. Okay. He's talking about empathy. Okay, say it all again. Like, three times. <gasps> Because if there's no care, because there's fear, 
Hold your breath. I know what he's talking about. He's talking about the empathy to tell. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't know that quote. I I have read Legacy like twice. Mm-hmm. I like memorized that quote because I was like, yeah. Oh, really? tell. Okay, what's the quote? <laughs> I still get a point though because I knew what. Because you knew the book, but I was talking about something time. totally different. Yeah, but you were still on the right track, okay. sort of. Um, light three times. Because oh, sorry, that's the that's the. <laughs> you want to hear? <laughs> you want to hear the original? Yes. Okay. Our hearts skip three beats. One from guilt, one from fear, and one like a held breath. Mm. It's like afraid we'll get caught is how mm-hmm. that goes on. But I was like, that would be hilarious to translate. Yeah. There's no way that would translate right. <laughs> Hold your breath. Hold your breath. <laughs> um, so it's my final quote. Okay. There should be one more. <sighs> this one has a bunch of alternatives. This is the one I did a few minutes ago and was laughing at. <laughs> See, I want this to be hard because then we might end up tied. We are tied right now. We are tied. I think. Either we're tied or you're one point ahead. Okay. Which one do I want to pick? That's my stomach growling. <laughs> that happened to me this morning. Mm. Okay. Make sure you have the children of the month. <laughs> um. <laughs> Make sure you have the children of the month. Okay. Is it from? Mm, I'm thinking. Children. Okay. Is it from Unlocked? Nope. What book is it from? Loadstar. I feel like I should know it then. <laughs> Make sure you have the children of the month. <laughs> what happens with Lodestar? So Lodestar starts off. Okay. What does Lodestar start? Say this out loud so they can hear you brainstorming. Okay. Lodestar starts with Keith destroying Foxfire. Hopefully everyone who's listening to this has read Lodestar. We need to put Lodestar spoilers on this. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Keith destroys think- Foxfire, then what were you going to say? Sorry. Oh, go ahead. Oh, you were going to say, I think. It was, I was just going to say something like, we need to put spoiler warnings for, or edit out The particular spoilers. book. Yeah, we could edit out some spoilers, too. Yeah. Because they were unnecessary. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, Lodestar. Keep destroys Foxfire, then she goes home, she mentions that Orly read her emotions, then she's like, Keep's going to die, and then... Mr. Forkel says, you and Mr. Simpson have a very special connection. <laughs> and then uh, something happens. I think it involves Fitz. And it gets fuzzy for a little while. Um, read the quote again. Make sure you have the children of the month. The children of the month. Uh, when do they go to the... No, that's Nightfall. Okay. Um... Does Mr. Forkel say it? Yes. Oh, that's lucky. Oh, okay. No, you got a point. <laughs> now I'm either tied or winning. Um, you kids, something, probably. Um, he, what does Mr. Forkel do in Lodestar? He does show up to Sophie and, eat and tell, her, tell her that she was very smart to go to Orly. And she, and she was like, he also says, Council Orly has been your loyal supporter. I only know whenever people talk about Orly. Um... The children of the month. Make sure you have the children of the month. Uh, <laughs> when I read it, I was like, have the children of the month? Like, you're going to have a child every month? <laughs> Be sure. Be sure. I was, I'm thinking, like, employee of the month, right? So <laughs> these are, like, the best kids in the lost cities. Um, okay, which children come in? It's so off. You're, <laughs> you're so far. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you an alternative one. Okay. But... I only get half a point if I yeah, guess it. Yeah, you only get half a point, even though it would still make you win. Okay. Free moon. <laughs> That's the whole thing? Free moon? <laughs> Is this... Oh, if I guess it. Wait, I get multiple guesses for the quote, right? I guess. Not... Well, you you have a final answer. Okay. Well, 
If you get close, I'll let you keep going, though. I'll tell you if you're close. Is it the take care of my moonlark thing? Mm-hmm. It is? Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Make sure you have the children of the month. I guess it thought it was like... I knew he was talking to Orly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I thought it... I, see, I guess it was like moon month. Like, mm-hmm. how? I don't know. And then my favorite one, I, I thought you would get this one, but my favorite translation of that, which is the first one, is beware of moon children. <laughs> <laughs> beware of How do you children. get children from Lark? Take care of my moon lark. Beware because of moon Because Sophie children. is Orly's child, and the elves are manipulating our Google Translate. Yes! That's how it put they Messenger. Know. Exactly. There was something else. Oh, like whenever you were typing in Google Docs, how, yeah. it, how it tried to put in the whole description for Exilium. Uh-huh. That was so weird. So I was typing in Google Docs, and I clicked on it. Like, it put um red underlined in red, Exilium. Like, oh, you spelled it wrong. And I clicked on it to see to try to make it go away. And it just came up with the description from the wiki of Exilium. And like and pictures and Pictures. Stuff. I was like, whoa. The elves are among us, everyone. What happens if I click sense in right here? Oh, nothing, it just wants to change the scene. <laughs> Ignore. Okay. Like how it gave Keith a middle name? Mm-hmm. Keith Peanut Sensen. <laughs> it's confirmed. I still think it's Cassius. All right, I think that's all of them. Cepheus. Do you have any other <laughs> any other quotes for this one? Nope, that's all. What was your favorite quote? Um, oh, I forgot to mention. Oh, we do have to figure the out. The last one, take care of my moonlark, lost underscore in underscore the underscore lost underscore cities, which also have a podcast. They um, oh, cool. put that out. Thank you for putting in an orally quote. I think you knew I would appreciate and it. That's why I was laughing, because you had take care of my moonlark, too. Right. What from was yours? Michael. What was yours? Like what was your my, translation? Oh, take care of my shoes. That's how you guessed it so fast. Uh-huh. You're like, oh, shoes. Um, I don't know how Moonlark got turned into shoes. So, okay, we each have to figure out how many points we have. I'm going to pause it really quick, and then I'm going to start recording again whenever we know the point totals. Hi, everybody. Sorry about the slightly worse audio quality. So at the end of the recording, we actually did not know who had won, and so we thought... Um, Somehow we had added the points together. We thought I had won. Well, I just went through as I edited it and added up everyone's points. It turns out that we are tied 10 to 10. So we may have to record a tiebreaker round. We may have to just say we're tied forever. I guess we'll decide that um, we're going to be recording pretty soon uh, our next episode. But yeah, this one was pre-recorded a few weeks ago and we just figured it out. Um, actually, this is I am recording this particular clip of audio on January 9th. I'm going to be releasing the podcast as soon as I finish. So yeah, we just figured out we're tied. So let us know what we should do, um, if you think we should do a tiebreak around, or if we should be tied forever. Thank you for listening to the Forbidden Cities podcast. Leave us a review and tell a friend about the podcast if you liked us. Email us with comments and episode suggestions at theforbiddencitiespodcast at gmail.com. And to follow us on Instagram, just search at Forbidden Cities Podcast.